Okay, so I got this pan finished off. So those two are done. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I should do some more stuff up top around the pens instead of just like having open holes and then a tower. In the middle. And welcome back to Ark. And today, guys, we are going to be going and building me an ocean base. Okay, first things first, what I'm going to need is some ocean platforms. I already got the stuff I need thrown in here. So we're just going to be going with the S Plus versions because... Alright, so the S Plus versions are smaller than the other ones, the normal ones. So, and they also don't take stuff from Genesis. Okay, so we got our ocean platforms, and now I'm over encumbered. But, we got them. Now, all that's left is to go place them where I want my base. Okay, I think I want to go place the platforms right in that area around that rock. Okay, I had to get them on my hotbar, so now we can hopefully just place these. Okay, this is, this is where my cinema crops comes in. All right, we have one of these guys for a reason. It also looks like I could have probably landed up on this rock. And voila, that's one platform down. Um, I'm kind of debating on how I'm gonna do this. All right, Argentavis is gonna land there, okay. Um, did I place one there? No. Let's place one there. Let's go one here and one here. So that right there is basically what the, the size of the actual ocean platform is. And I also do get a middle point here. So, I'm wondering, because these things also have an amazing option on them where I can select a model where there's three side A, done. Boom, that one's gone. And select model, B. So we might go with the B there. Have this one be a big open tube, like for, uh, for Moses and Tussos and all that. And then we'll probably keep one of the other ones, just small. Okay, I think that's how we're going to do it. So that will be like the back of the pen, or we might try and make it like a run-through. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do with those ones. Um, Here, I might just make these ones a little bit bigger. Okay, so then we'll have that one like there for the big Tussos and stuff. Then we'll have that one there for Megalodons and all that. Then, I do still got two more platforms. I just didn't know where to put them. I might just make put them out there and make them solid. Okay, so what I have done is... That is going to be for medium, large, and I might do a small pen. I don't know. But I might, like, completely seal up one of those. And also, one of these might lead down to, like, an underwater base once I get the tech stuff going. I'm still thinking on that. Okay, guys, so what I had to do here is I went around in the water and I went and like lined the entirety of this open pool with metal on the outside so that way I can place hopefully a row of glass walls on the bottom. Okay, guys, so I got most of the glass walls I wanted placed. I might do one more row in and kind of concave it in to make the bottom, but I ran out of glass and I got to go get crystal. Okay, guys, see you. As of now, I got the walls finished. I'm really kind of liking the sloped ones. Um, I'm going to get some sloped root or glass sloped roofs here to connect those, and I'm going to get some ceilings here to finish off the bottom. And I think that's what... This is going to kind of be like the breeding pen since hold slash holding pen kind of deal. So. Okay, see you. I'm not quite done. I ran out of crystal again, but I did get all the sloped roofs put down. So what I'm going to need is... Oh yeah, that's the Megalodon I killed. Apparently the Megalodon was just circling that and I had to shoot it, so... Yeah, but I'm going to need... I only got about, I think, half the crystal I need to finish off the bottom. Because, like, technically right now I can swim right through. All right? Here's a hole. So what I need to do is I need to go and get more crystal. So I can finish off that. I only have enough here for about 20 ceilings. I need 40. Okay, guys. See you. I should be doing the last thing here. Um, I did decide to change up my stuff here a bit. So I had... I got two metal hatch frames down there. But I'm pretty sure I just left my... Uh, my metal trap doors. In the crafting station. No, they weren't. I just missed them in my inventory. But... Boom. And boom. 
those are two giant trap doors now that we got at the bottom I'm gonna set these to auto close only so no auto opening for these um, how about you what you set to okay. uh, auto close only there we go and now we should be able to also send things out through the bottom in these but that is one pen done so far Okay, so I'm also deciding on this. This took me a hot minute to get all the resources for. And I don't have the resources for these. There's no way. Do so what we're going to be doing is we're going to hold off to do those. Probably, I'll probably work on them off camera. I'll show you guys them next time, but I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to start working on this more central platform here. The main work area, you know. Okay, see so what I have gotten started here is a nice little I guess I guess I'm gonna throw an egg collector here and maybe some hatchers on either side because that's what I originally wanted, but egg hatchers don't work on water creatures. So I don't know what we would do with egg hatchers, honestly. But that's what I was thinking at first. But anyways, I got this hole patched up and covered. Um we might bust a way down here later when we got access to a uh, vacuum chambers but we won't get those until after the dragon and i'm trying to hold off on fighting that for a little bit okay so there is one thing i am going to be doing here for the base now that is i am going to be painting it so i did bother to go and get some nice blue paints seeing this how this is going to be an ocean base so that way it does seem a little camouflaged so right now I'm painting the ceiling with cyan and I think that's what's going to do for the ceiling. I'm also probably going to hit these floors down here. May as well hit them with the cyan as well. But for the walls, I'm going to be hitting those with my darker blue. And since how this is metal, I'm just hitting all color regions. So that way it looks nice. Um, I'm wondering if I should do the colors the other way around. Yeah, I think I like it that way better where the light blue is on the side and the dark is on top. Looks better. Um, but it still looks a little weird, I ain't gonna lie. Okay guys, see you. Something just occurred to me and I have now changed my plans. So, as you can see here, these ones are no longer a long sloop like that one is. I'm gonna keep that one like that, the large, large pen. This is gonna kind of be our breeding pen. Okay guys, Sue. So I've decided I don't like the color of this, so we're going to get some soap, and we're going to change it back. And also over here, I also realized there are fish in this game that do produce resources, kind of like a farm. So these are going to be my aquatic farms, these two slots. And well, all I'm going to need to do is, I'm going to kind of try and replicate that, but just underneath. Um, also, I've also been working on the crystal here. Uh... I think I got I got enough for those two, but I don't got enough for this yet. But I did go through and I already did metal plate this. I just haven't placed any of the glass stuff. And I'm still kind of debating on how to do like the entrant the entryways, you know? Okay guys, so I just got this one all done. So this one's all closed up. I think yeah, it's almost exactly the same. It, well, it's exactly the same way that one did, went down, just without doors. And I'm just gonna copy it over there. Um, we're basically, basically, it's just gonna be another big old sloop like this for that big one. It's just gonna be a lot longer and a lot more. Uh, I mean, I'm going insane having to select swap module on this. I think I could get the S plus gun to do it. It's just I don't know all the things, so I might have to look into that. But for this one. It's going to take a lot longer for putting it together. And I'm still not sure on doors. I could use the S plus custom gates for it. Get some metal custom gates. I think I could bring it down either lower or about the same thing as those guys. And we should be just fine. Okay, so I got this pan finished off. So those two are done. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I should do some more stuff up top around the pens instead of just like having open holes and then a tower in the middle also the reason why i'm actually working on those now is because i'm trying to just i do want to do a tech base and i'm thinking i might do that with this so as of now i'm gonna get the pens built up 
So this one might be next, um, or we might put it on hold. We might go into trying to get some electricity going. Okay, so again, I'm thinking about the tech base one. So I might hold off the power until I actually have a tech replicator. So I might go work on that here later. Uh, yeah. Um, but as of, as of now, I'm loving the water base. It's coming out great. Uh, it's taking me a long time, though. Legit six hours here just to get all that crystal. And that crystal's killing me. All right? Like, I'm running out of places. I've been going to the volcano, but I'm pretty sure I've picked the volcano clean, and it's not respawning. I got that one mountain over there on the south side as well picked clean. I think, though, it might have respawned by now. There's also that one towards the swamp and the... What was it? The one in the Redwoods doesn't have any crystal on it, or not much.